Begin with the fabric of your choice. I always pre-wash and pre-iron my fabric so that it is ready to go. Our pattern today is two inches across by three inches down. Once your pattern is cut, it is time to iron down the seams. You'll begin by folding over each of the long edges and ironing down securely. Now we are ready to begin our pleats. I fold the top part back about a third of the way and iron From securely. From there, you will create two additional pleats on the front. Be sure to handle your material with care because although it is small, it does hold on to that heat. The final step in this stage is to fold the last raw edge under. It should overlap the other raw edge in the back. Iron down as flat and securely as possible. Now let's head over to the sewing machine. You will need 1 8 inch elastic in a 5 inch length. As I began sewing, my sewing machine ate up this tiny mask. So begin by placing a thin piece of tissue paper or a receipt in my case to act as a stabilizer. This will ensure that your mask does not get drawn into the machine and mess up as you begin to sew. Sew around the perimeter of the mask, tucking in the elastic onto each of the short ends as you go. Now it's time to remove the stabilizer. Simply tear and pull away from your mask. And there you have it, the perfect elf or doll face mask. You can always make your dimensions a little bigger for a larger doll and make your elastic just a little longer to fit your needs. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this tutorial simple, seriously simple.